Hey y'all, my name's Chris. This is Key Farm. And I have a flat tire. So uh, product review is not something that we do a lot of, but if I buy something for the farm, I'll let you know if it's good or if it's not. So here's my trailer sitting over here. I have to load a tractor on it here in a few minutes, but uh, first we gotta remedy that. The tires had a slow leak. I knew it'd be flat when I got here. So. I got this three gallon air compressor from Harbor Freight uh, for the farm, I don't know, a little while back. And uh, we're going to put it to use and see if it's any good for the purposes that I need over here on the farm. Now, over here on the farm, really all I need to do is inflate stuff and maybe <laughs> blow out air filters on ATVs and whatnot. So if it can handle that, that'd be fine. And the only electricity we have on the farm is a generator. So, let's go up here and fire this thing up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, so here it is. This is the one that they call the pancake. Uh, there's another one identical to it called the hot dog. And just so you know, this is the one that is $39.99 with the coupon. Not to be confused with the six gallon one that is $100 with the coupon. So it says that it will completely air up, fill the tank to 100 pounds in four minutes. I think it's longer than that. Oh, and I got a 50 foot hose to go with it right there. So I'm going to plug it up to the generator and I'm going to time it and I'll let you know how long it takes to air up. I'm not going to do all that on video because nobody wants to hear all that racket. So I'll get back to you in just a minute. All right, y'all. So right there, it clearly says four minutes. It took five minutes and 40 seconds. But I like Harbor Freight. So what is 100 seconds between friends, right? All right, now, I do have this. Um, is this a 25? I believe this is a 25-foot hose. So... Keep in mind, we are going to lose some air just by having to uh, pressurize that long hose. All right, this is my total air. This is my air out to the tool. I haven't played with this a whole lot, but if it stays maxed out, I mean, I'm not, um, I'm not running any tools that require a certain amount of air pressure. I think this is for if you were going to airbrush with this or something like that. All right, so we're going to see if it'll air this tire up and what PSI it will air it up to. And, man, I love the farm. We always got help. Where y'all going? All right. Let's make it happen. All right. Yet more help has arrived. All right, I got the hose plugged up. I really need to get one of those short yellow coiled up hoses. I believe I got one at the house. All right, we're airing up and we're steadily dropping. My tire's already looking better, but we all know that you can't go by how a tire looks. Uh, here comes boss lady to make sure we're doing it right. I, I know what I'm doing. You can stay up there. What do you think about it? I think we're going to go until it equalizes. Yeah, so if that's right, we've only got 20 pounds in the tire. We'll check it out. Which 20 pounds is enough to get you from A to B. Or you could air this up again and top it off. We'll see. By the way, that, that's an Appaloosa. See your nose? <laughs> she didn't like that. Look, horses, horses are scared of any little noise that they don't normally hear. Let's see what we got here. All right, that got us to about 18 pounds. And... We're setting it about 18 pounds on that. 
All right, y'all. It was getting more and more windy out there, so I've moved to the barn to uh, conclude this. Now, look, I only got 18 pounds of air in that tire, and that is not enough for me to put the uh, tractor up there. So I got either a choice to make. I can haul that thing home and top it off with my big air compressor, or I can bring the little one back in here, air it up again, and go out there and get about 30 pounds in it. This is about what I need. So I'm kind of rethinking if this was big enough for my purposes, but let's talk about what it will do. So, you know, a lot of common homeowners don't have a lot of big tires to air up. So what if your main things that you're going to air up is, you know, four wheelers, uh, maybe a kid's go-kart, mini bikes, bicycles. Let's say you're going to the lake and you got to air up a float. Um, this little air compressor will do all of those things I just mentioned. Um, we clean out the vacuum cleaner uh, with compressed air. This would do that. So it will do a lot of things, but, and hey, when it comes to a car tire, if you can get 20 pounds in it, you can get it to where you're going to have it fixed. But in my life, I got a lot of things I air up. Got a lot of flat tires, don't we, don't we, girl? Yeah, yeah, we do. So um, I'm kind of rethinking maybe I should have went with the bigger one. But then again, the bigger one is two and a half times the price, so maybe I'll just make do with what I got. Hmm. But anyway, I hope that we've shown you what it will do, what its capabilities are, and you can decide for yourself. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Uh, we got videos about these crazy animals. I build different things. I, I enjoy fabricating. Um, oh, look, there's videos popping up regarding that stuff now. Hey, this is Key Farm. Love God, love people. And click on one of those.